Good morning, my lovelies. Thank you for joining me for another What I Eat In A Day as a vegan on Slimming World. If you're new here, my name's Leanne, hiya. Thanks for coming to my channel. And if you're coming back, as always, thanks ever so much for doing so. Today is Tuesday, it's the 9th of March. Um, this morning, I've actually got my COVID jab, which I'm really pleased about, or my first one anyway. So I'm really pleased about that. I was feeling fine about it until my colleague yesterday said, oh yeah, I have mine and like our boss had his. Oh, and you'll start feeling really bad like six to eight hours afterwards. I was like, yeah, great, thanks for that. I hadn't been worried until then. And now I'm like, oh God, I'm gonna be ill by tonight. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> but anyway, that's at 10 past nine. It's currently um, about quarter to eight. And I start work at eight. Um, I've actually been doing it a little bit beforehand just to get a head start because I've got a duck out to go and do my, uh, get my jab. So um, I also, it's Tuesday today. So mum comes over for dinner on a Tuesday. Uh, she's in my support bubble, if you're new here. I didn't know that. Um, so yeah, um, I, I really don't have a lot of time. And I just feel like if I can get just a little bit of prep stuff done right now, it's gonna really help me later. So I'm just gonna really quickly chop some stuff up. So I was just trying to like plan ahead, like I said. So um, I've got my breakfast stuff out now, which I'm gonna very quickly prepare. So I've just got a banana and an apple, a blueberry and some cherries. I'll have them on top of half a pot of this Alpro Greek style plain yogurt, um, which is half sin per 100 grams. I'll have 200 grams, so that's one sin. Uh, fruit is all free, uh, apple and blueberries are speed, these are just free. Um, then for my healthy extra bee choice, um, I'll have one tablespoon of pumpkin seeds and one tablespoon of um, ground flaxseed or linseed. Um, and then, so that's my healthy extra bee choice. And then I'll have one tablespoon of maple syrup, <clears throat> excuse me, which is two sins. So it'll be a total of three sins for my breakfast, honestly. This is like my favorite combo at the moment. I am absolutely addicted and it makes me feel so good. Like it doesn't matter what fruit you use, just it just makes me feel really good. Knowing that I'm getting some seeds in as well because obviously they're really important, like full of nutrients and stuff. The yogurt really fills me up. The maple syrup feels like a treat. The fruit is just obviously really tasty and delicious and lots of different textures. So yeah, just happy days. I mean, this is good just with apple and banana, but blueberries are a massive bonus as are cherries. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And I'll chop that up in a moment. And then I'm also gonna quickly prepare some lunch as well. Um, or at least partially prepare it. So I just get it chopped up. Um, I've, I need to get more stuff out, but basically I'm just gonna do a really basic couscous salad. Um, so I've got some whole wheat couscous, um, some tomatoes, cucumber, red pepper. I'll put some red onion in as well. Um, I'm gonna put some fresh parsley through it. I'll cook the couscous in stock. I'll use some lemon juice. Um, for the protein element, um, it's not really a protein as such, but it does have protein in it. I've got these gosh sweet corn and quinoa bites. I've got half a pack left. Um, the whole box is three sins. So half a pack is one and a half. Um, annoyingly, you do get 13 in a pack. So you end up with six and a half, hence this little blobby one here. That's my half one. So I like to cook them in the air fryer fresh, like at lunchtime. Um, so I'll put them back in the fridge in a second. I just wanted to bring them through to remind myself to eat them. Um, I might do some chickpeas for lunch. I don't know. And I haven't decided what I'm doing for dinner yet, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking um, that probably sticky tofu is going to be like an easy option. You know, I love it. Mum loves it. It's um, going to enable me to use some different veggies than I've used during the day. And um, it's just really sort of an easy recipe that I'm comfortable with. And it's fairly quick. It doesn't involve too much like pre-prep. And I know my will be, love that because, you know, it's delicious. <laughs> um, and I'll definitely have enough sins for it because all of this isn't that many sins. So uh, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I'm just gonna prep it now, but I'll show you my meals as I go through the day. And if you're a regular and you're wondering, yes, I am wearing a tiny bit of makeup. Um, I know I haven't been like, in the last like year <laughs> but i just really wanted to wear some mascara today so i literally all i've got on is just a tiny bit of bb cream um which is actually an old body shop one um they actually don't do that particular one anymore they've replaced it with a different product but anyway whatever so um just a tiny bit of bb cream just to even out my skin just a little bit um as it turned out i put the darker one on which was quite amusing i was like oh my god i'm orange but i'm not now obviously um and then i've just got mascara on and that's literally it um the mascara that i'm using at the moment i'm really liking it it's a new one that i've i'm trying so i have been using um barry m 
but um, to be honest, um, so before like I was vegan, I liked the Lash Vegas mascara by Barry M. It's really nice, but it had beeswax in it. Um, and so obviously it wasn't vegan. And then, um, then they brought out the Lash Vegas 2, which is vegan. And that's the only vegan mascara they offer. Um, obviously Barry M are well known for being a cruelty free brand, but they, um, do have, uh, beeswax in some of their products and that's why they're not fully vegan yet but I think they are working towards that way anyway so um I found this um new one online by a brand called Gosh um I got it from Superdrug um but I really like it it's like it's probably the best mascara I've used in years so um definitely check that out and it was like quite cheap as well. <laughs> so that's always a bonus um yeah so there we go in case you're wondering yes I think I do look slightly better than normal today because I'm normally just like, raw. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in a second. So for my kiss kiss, I just cut a little tiny bit of the stock cube out and then I just pour over a little bit of water. Probably need a tiny bit more than that. And then I just kind of mush this up a little bit, not too much because it can just sit there and I can mix it all through afterwards. Might even need a little bit more water than that. The worst thing with couscous is to put too much water in, so I always err on the side of caution. Just here building up my yogurt bowl. Wow, look at that sunlight coming in. Um, yeah, just before I put the rest of the fruit on, just wanted to prove that there is yogurt under there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there you go. All right, so I've got the basis of my couscous salad prepared. So obviously my couscous cooked in a bit of stock. Uh, I've got half a red onion, a good old chunk of cucumber, uh, four of those little tomatoes, like that size, and what else? Oh, red pepper, and then just loads of fresh parsley. I'm just going to mix this all together and then I can leave that then till lunchtime. Okay, here's the finished product. And uh, as usual, I think it looks absolutely delicious and I cannot wait to eat it. Um, hopefully you guys think the same, but you know. It's okay if you don't. Um, so just a quick run through the sins again. So I've used 200 grams of the Alpro Greek style plain yogurt for one sin, blueberries and apple for speed, cherries and banana for free foods, and then one tablespoon of pumpkin seeds and one tablespoon of milled flax seeds or ground flax seeds or linseeds, whatever you want to call them. Um, those two tablespoons of seeds combined make up my healthy extra B choice for the day. And then one tablespoon of maple syrup over the top, which is two sins. And that gives me a total of three sins plus my healthy extra B for the day. Hello, my friends. It's lunchtime and uh, ignore that mess behind me. Let's just angle the camera better. <laughs> um, yes, it is currently quarter past one and I've just come out to grab my lunch. Uh, I say come out, I mean from the study to the kitchen. <laughs> um, yes, so obviously I've made my couscous salad this morning. Um, as it stands, that is sin free um, because it's uh, couscous, cucumber, tomato, red pepper. Cucumber, tomato, red pepper, red onion, and the couscous, and stock, and fresh parsley. So, um, yeah. Uh, that's in free. Then I've got my gosh bites that I talked about earlier. So I'm gonna stick these in the air fryer now um, just to warm them through. And they are one and a half cents. And um, I don't think I'm good. I was thinking I might add some chickpeas or something, but actually I'm not going to because it's plenty big enough. So I've decided to uh, soup up my couscous salad a little bit with some just extra flavour bit. <laughs> Excuse the mess. <laughs> So here's the basic salad. I've just squeezed over the juice of my lemon. So that's nice. I'll mix that in in a moment. And then I'm gonna add in some capers from my industrial size jar. I love capers. They're so salty and delightful. So I'm gonna add in two tablespoons. Um, capers are in fact a speed food, did you know? So uh, <laughs> I love these. So I'll mix them in. I'm also gonna have some Kalamata olives in brine. These are one and a half sins for eight olives. So any olives in brine, one and a half sins for eight. If they're marinated, it's two and a half sins for eight. 
So I like to chop my olives into three or four pieces so you get these little rings and they just seem to go quite a lot further if you're doing them in something like this, just to get that flavour all the way throughout. So that's one and a half sins. And then I'm really pushing the boat out now, but I've got some sun-dried tomatoes. Um, these are 25 grams, a two sins. So this was three sun-dried tomatoes for me, it was exactly 25 grams, but obviously it's gonna depend on the size of them. So I've just cut them into little pieces and again, I'll mix them three. So that's two sins, that's three and a half. Plus in the air fryer, I've got the little uh, gosh, sweet corn and harissa. Uh, quinoa bites um, but what I actually did was I broke them up into little more bite-sized pieces just to get more crispy edges and just to make them go further because you're only going to break them up anyway when you eat it so um, yes so I've broken those up obviously they're one and a half sins so in total for a really yummy lunch uh, it's just five sins and here is the finished product so as I said sins involved are one and a half for the gosh sweet corn and harissa bites one and a half for the olives and two for the sun-dried tomatoes, so five sins total. Um, obviously, any of that could be eliminated to make this a sin-free dish, but you know, you, you do you. Use your sins how you want to, because that's what they're there for. Um, and I cannot wait to eat this. My tummy is rumbling looking at it, so I don't know why I'm holding off. Um, I haven't added any salt or pepper. I think I will add some, I'll add some garlic pepper, I think, actually. Let's have a look. <laughs> Um, where's my garlic pepper? It's hiding. Here we go. Garlic pepper. Um, I do love a bit of garlic. Um, but I'm not going to add any salt because I've got the salty olives. I've got the salty capers. I've got the stock. You know, it just doesn't need it. Um, but garlic pepper. There's always room in my life for garlic pepper. So there we go. Yum, yum, yum. I am done. <laughs> uh, I'll talk to you later. Oh, also, I did forget to tell you that I had um, two coffees. I can't remember if I told you the first one that I had this morning or not, because um, it was a bit of an afterthought, but I had it with my breakfast after I got back from my jab. So, um, which went well, by the way, <laughs> I'm jabbed. Um, so yeah, I had one coffee then um, with 100 mils of Alper Almond Barista, and then the same again um, later on at like, 11 30 ish um so that was two sins so it's one sin for 100 mils of alper almond barista and i have that per coffee so two sins for that um plus the five for this plus the three for breakfast that puts me on 10 sins at this point in the day out of my 25 massive apologies that i did not film my dinner properly uh making it but i had the sticky tofu this is the sauce bubbling away it's got chili garlic and ginger sauteing in um some sesame oil mine was one teaspoon um then i've got some jasmine rice cooking and some veggies sauteing um there is uh red pepper mange to asparagus chestnut mushrooms and uh pak choy in there i've got some smoked tofu getting all crispy in the air fryer happy days and then for the sticky sauce um as i said ginger garlic and chili in sesame oil i used two teaspoons so my portion was one teaspoon for two sins um then a load of soy sauce i think in this particular one i used about five tablespoons maybe six um it's reduced salt stuff because i do like soy sauce uh, and rice vinegar, just a splash, and then um, maple syrup, uh, again, one tablespoon in my portion, and corn flour, two teaspoons in my portion, which is half a sin per teaspoon. Uh, the maple syrup is two sins. So by my calculations, that comes out at five sins. Hey guys, so um, I'm feeling really crappy after the jab earlier. Um, like my arm is killing, but like the last hour or two, I've just been building up. I just feel very like shivery and achy and that's cool. You know, a normal side effect, but I feel really horrible. So, um, you know, not as horrible as I could feel, you know, but just horrible enough. So, um, I'm, uh, I'm going to go to bed now for like the earliest night I've had in a while. Although in fairness, it is like 10 o'clock. So it's not that early I guess to some people but um I'm not very good at going to bed early anyway um so yeah I'm just gonna end the video here I had a hot chocolate um and dinner was really nice and um it's about it really uh yeah I have to go because I just I just need to like just lie down <laughs> um okay I'll see you guys tomorrow bye